Hey guys, hope everybody's doing good today. Well, I tried to put my uh, poncho together, my granny square poncho, and I totally messed up. All right, this is a granny square poncho that I was putting together. As you can see, there's one, and then there's one in the back. Two, three, and the back one makes four. So you take four granny squares, whatever size you want to make your poncho. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. This happened to be a smaller one and I took it apart and made it bigger. And uh, I was gonna show you how I sewed it together and how I put all the little frillies on it and how I cinch up the neck. So I will get my smaller ones and I will demonstrate with my smaller granny squares and show you how to put it together to make this poncho. Okay, I have four granny squares here. One, two, three, and four. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our stringy sides and put those together for our first two. And you want to turn it at an angle and then your other two, you're going to fold in half and you're going to place one. Let's see, I'll do it this way so you can see better. This one here and make sure your strings are in the inside. Fold it over and put it there. And then as you can see, you have your rectangle up here. That's going to be the neck. So you're going to sew these together and these together. Well, here, let me sh show you here. You're going to sew it here, and you're going to sew it here, and then on the top one, you'll sew it here, and you will sew it here. Okay, to sew it together, you want to use a little plastic yarn needle, and then I just put my yarn through the eye of the needle. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take and find your corner hole. Right here is a corner. Right here is a corner and I put my thumbs in those two holes to keep it lined up and then you just take your yarn and you put it through here your top two stitches there and feed your yarn all the way through and when you get to the end you want to uh, just tie a knot I'm not gonna go ahead and tie a knot because I'm not putting those together but you'll tie a knot there and then you will go ahead and sew all the way down there and then you continue to do that until you have the whole thing sewn together and then you will have your poncho that looks like that one hanging up up there you can see this granny square hopefully you can see right here is where I sewed this one together and right here is where I sewed that one together. So this is my center hole. I will start there and end there. I crocheted a curly cue that I showed you in a previous video. What you do is you take your end here and you feed it through this hole. And I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do this one-handed with the curly cue. It's a little difficult. But anyway, you uh you go through this hole and then you come back through this hole and then you'll go back in this through this hole and then you'll come back out through that hole and uh you do that until you're all the way around. Okay, I got my first one in that center hole I was talking about. Now what you do is you go and you find your next hole and you will feed it back through. And this is a little difficult because the curly cues are thick but it'll take a little patience but just work with it and it will come through and you might have to twist it a little bit. But like I said it takes a little bit of patience. So let me go ahead and uh, work some of these and I will show you when I'm about halfway done. I have reached the center hole here and as you can tell my curly cue is really out of shape 
but that's okay don't worry about it when you get done you can reshape it it's not a problem so I will go ahead and continue and I'll show you when I get to the where I started okay we are almost to the end I have to feed it through this hole and then bring it back out in the same hole that I started in and like I said your curly cue is going to be out of shape but it's no big deal we'll go ahead and straighten that up so let me go ahead and finish these two holes here and then we'll straighten up our curly cue okay we got them all in there and then all you have to do to reshape your curly cue is just twist it around until it you get the right shape just work it all around and it will go back into your curly cue and okay I got that straightened out just twist it around a little bit get as new and then I'm going to go put it on the hanger and show you what it looks like tied up all right here is our finished granny square here as you can tell it's got the curly cue tie and I still need to put the fringes on it to have it completed but usually what I do is finger knit my ties and then I put little balls on there and then this one has the frillies of course but what do you think do you like the finger knit with the balls or do you like the curly cues leave me a comment let me know which one you like and I will go ahead and show you when I get this one 100% complete with the um, little fringes on it it'll have all of them hanging down just like this one does but there is both of them in a distance so you can see curly cue or finger knit okay it does not matter what which hole you start in but at the bottom of your poncho you're going to take your string and you're going to fold it in half and then you're going to take one of the holes and take your half point put it through the holes so you have your half and then you're going to put your fingers in there like that and then take your string and pull it through and that will give you your fringes and you do that all the way around and let me try to show you again get your three pieces they don't have to be perfectly the same if I were to guess let's see one two four or five inches is what these are but again you fold it in half go to your next hole and put your halfway point into the hole so it's folded in half and then you take these strings put them in there pull them through like that and then just tighten so I will go ahead and finish this and then I will show you the completed project and this will be another completed poncho all right y'all there it is complete with the curly Q tie and all the fringes so once again let me know if you like the curly Q tie or the finger knit ties with the with the little balls on there thanks for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and share this video and leave in a comment in leave any comments you might have below thank you